In the beginning, the universe was created. This has made a lot of people angry and has been widely regarded as a bad move. This is Bremster, and I would like to welcome you to my 42nd video on my Sudoku Solving channel. Um, because this is my 42nd video, and I am such a huge Douglas Adams fan, um, I thought what I would do is I would create a special puzzle for this one. Um, this is an incredibly approachable puzzle. All of the testers have said that the difficulty on this one is pretty much a one out of five. One person said it was bordering on a two. I can live with that. Um, anyone who is seeing this who is comfortable with Sudoku rules should be able to attempt this puzzle. There will be links below um, where you'll be able to solve this puzzle. Uh, I, I may or may not post this on Logic Masters Germany. If there's a link down there, go for it. If there's not, don't worry about it. I've created this specifically for this video. This is a puzzle called The Answer. And if you are a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fan, you will know that the answer to the question, the, the answer is 42. And this puzzle is based around the fact that this is my 42nd video, and therefore 42 is important. For those of you who've been with me for a while, thank you for sticking with it. Uh, for those of you who've subscribed, and uh, I'm, I'm seeing a, a very slow trickle in the increase in subscriber numbers, thank you. Uh, I've had a lot of fun doing these videos, and I'm hoping to continue doing more. But I, I sat down when I realized my next video was going to be number 42, and I thought, I have to do something with this. So... Let me show you what I've done. As I said, feel free to try the puzzle below. All of the rules and everything are described. Feel free to listen through my rules or explanation, which I'm about to do, and then go and try the puzzle and then come back and watch me solve it because I'm planning on having a little bit of fun. I don't think this is going to be a long video. We'll see how it goes. Um, so this is puzzle is called The Answer. In this puzzle, normal Sudoku rules apply, so in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must appear without repetition. Arrows. Digits in circled cells are the sum of the digits that are placed along the arrow pointing out of that circle. So if we were to put a 1, a 2, and a 3 into these cells, then we would need to put a 6 onto that arrow. Black dots indicate that cells have a 1 to 2 ratio, so uh, they must whatever is in one of the cells must be double the other one. White dots indicate that the cell digits must be consecutive. There is one extra rule. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything must appear exactly once in the text. As I, and by in the text, I mean must appear once, read, left, to right. So vertical doesn't count, backwards doesn't count, up doesn't count, but read left to right, the number 42 must appear exactly once. And that is the rules for the answer. Let's see if we can solve it, shall we? So, and as I said, links below if you wish to try before you watch me solve. So, a run of three black crop key dots. Um, we know that the only digits that you can put on a black crop key dot, uh, you can't put five, seven, or nine um, because uh, the ratios on those are either something and a half or over nine, so it doesn't work. So what we need to do is uh, the digits that can go in here are limited. You cannot put three or six in the middle um, because uh, three and six are only have a relationship with each other, so you cannot put them in a run of three. Uh, so the digits that you can put in a run of three are one, two, four, and eight, and you can't put the one or the eight in the middle because one would have to have two on each end and eight would need to have um, four on each end. So what you end up with is um, a situation where two, four is in the middle and one, two, four, and eight is on the outside. And all of these will be the same. So there are these tantalizing possibilities in here for the answer to be given. Now, when we look at it, this is a three cell arrow that cannot contain a two, four. The lowest digits we can put on it are one, three, and five. One, three, and five add up to nine. Uh, we now can look at row two. 
If we look at row two, if we were to put a one here, we would need to put a two here, but we can't because two is locked into that pair, so this can't be a one. If we were to put a three here, we would need to put a two or a four here, but we can't because there's a two, four pair. This can't be a three. This becomes a five, and we can take five out of those. Five is consecutive with either four or six. Four is already taken up. This becomes a six. Six on a three cell arrow where you can't have repeats. There's only one possibility because if we add the two minimum digits, we get a total of nine. The digits that are left over in this row, we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four, we've got five, we've got six. Into here, we must put seven and eight. We've now put eight into this row, which means we can take eight out of those, and this becomes a one, two, four. So somewhere in here, we're going to do one, two, four. We've got a one in here, so we can take one out of here. So this is going to become two, four, eight. We possibly know the orders, but I don't at the, oh, yes, we do. There's a one, two here. So we can take the one out of here. So we must go one, two, and four. This makes this a four, damn. And we can take the four out of those. These become a two, eight. Um, the digits we've got left in this box, we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, um, we've got four, we need a five, uh, we need a six, and we need a seven because we've got the eight in the pair and we've got a nine. Um, if we look in this box now, uh, we've got one, we've got two, we need to put a three. If we were to put three on this consecutive dot, it would have to go with a two or a four and it can't do it. So three ends up going down here. Um, one of the digits we need is nine and nine, if it went on the consecutive dot, would need an eight, which I can't get. So this becomes a three, nine pair. And this is the two digits that are left, which are consecutive, which are five, six. Five, six looks at this five, six, seven. So we can put a seven in there and take the seven out of there. This becomes our five, six. This one, two, which I should have seen before, is looking over here, making this an eight, and this becomes eight, four, two. Across the top, we now know what these three digits are. We're missing three, four, and eight in the top of the row. So we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to put in a seven. And most of the top three rows have in some way been limited. In this run of three dots, which I, I haven't looked at since we put in the first um, triples, we must have a two and a four uh, because this is either one, two, four or two, four, eight in some order because there must be a two in here. This must be a one and this must be a two. We can take the four out of there. This must be in, include a two and a four, but that doesn't help us up here yet. Now, this is on an arrow. If we had a one on here, these would need to be two digits summing up to one. That is a blatant impossibility. If we had a two in here, these would have to be two digits summing up to two. That is a blatant impossibility. So we've got a four or an eight in here. This would have to be one, two, four in order for that to be four, but we've put a one here. So that takes a one out of here. So this is a two, four, eight. So that is known to be a two, four, eight, and we can't start up here because we've taken the two out of it. So this must be two, then four, then eight. That four makes that two. We've missed the target again. Where are we going to find the answer? We can take two out of those. Um, this must be one, two, four, because there's a two in the middle. So we can take the eight out of there. Um, and we have, according to my math, not yet figured that out, except we do have a one, four pair looking up, making that a three and that a one. Uh, this eight looks up, making that a three, and we can take three out of those. Uh, possibilities for eight, is that where I'm looking now? Uh, no, I think I'm looking at this three cell arrow, which is probably going to be similar to this one, because I've got a three cell arrow that can't include a two and a four. The smallest digits I can put on it are one, three, and five, which already total nine. So we've already locked that in. Um, that nine makes that a three, which makes that a nine. That takes three out of there. That can't be a one because there's a one already in the column. Uh, we need to put a nine down here, but we can't put a nine on the arrow. 
um, because if nine plus anything, unless it was a two cell arrow, but it's not, um, and nine plus anything is going to blow the total. Okay, where am I going to look next? Um, 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 um. Possibly this three cell arrow? Would you believe I created this like five hours ago and I already don't remember? Um, so what can this be? Let's have a look at this first. What are the candidates? I can do seven and one. I can't do six and two. I could do five and three in either order. And they're the only possibilities. If I do five, three there, that would put, because I've got five, three there, I would then need to put five, three in there. But I'm not seeing a problem with that yet. Uh, we know what these three digits are. One, two, three, four, five. These are six, seven, and nine. Maybe it is this arrow. So... I need, this has got to be a six, a seven, or an eight, because it can't be a nine, it has to be three cells. So there has to be a one on that arrow, which makes that the five, makes that the three, and makes that the one. That five makes that the six, and that the five. I knew it was something like that. So, if I make this a six, oh, there's, I can't make this, this a six, so this is either a seven or an eight. But if I look at this arrow now, I still know what the composition of the arrow is because all six digits i've got four digits locked in and this is a pair so the digits that have not been included in the column are one two and four one two and four does not equal eight it equals seven so this becomes an eight and this becomes a seven so i've got the one two four locked in four now needs to go into one of these two cells um, and where, and I need to put the two, so this is a two, four pair. However, that two resolves it. This becomes the four, this becomes the two. Um, and unfortunately, I can't make a 42 here either. So what are these values? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, and eight. That eight makes that a six, so we've got an eight arrow. An eight arrow in three cells, well, it must contain a one, so I can take the one out of there. I also can't put the one in there because of the one in the column, so we've got that. But I can now look at what these three cells are. The column is nearly complete. I need to put a five, a seven, and a nine. Now, if I was to put a nine onto an eight arrow, that would be a problem. If I was to put a seven onto an eight arrow, each of these would need to add to a half, that's not going to happen. So this becomes a five. Once I've got a five on an arrow, these cells need to sum to, uh, on an eight arrow, these need to sum to three. So the only options are one and two. Therefore, there is a two in there, which means that can't be a two. That's got to be the four. And I've got a one, two pair in the corner. I'm missing again because I can't put a two here. Where's this 42 going to come from? We've got to find the answer. So there is no five down here. This is a seven, nine. We also know what these are. They are three, six, and eight. Um, this is a one or a two. Now, if this was a one, I'd have to put a two on the other half of the crop key dot, which I can't because there's already a one, two pair in the box. So this becomes a two, this becomes a four, this becomes a one. Um... I've probably got a lot more I can do at the top of the grid. So um, I've got one, two, four, three can go in any of those. Four, I've got five can go in any of those. Eight is restricted, however. Eight must go exactly there. Um, nine can't go there or there. So nine is in one of those two. Six? Hmm, not sure. Um, so, three, five, three, five, that would put three, five down there as we've stated. Um, 
So what do we put into this box? We need to put three, five, six, seven, and nine. Well, I can't put nine into there or into there, as I've said. Can't put seven down there. Can't put five there. Can't put six up the top. We've now got a three, five, seven triple. Actually, the only place in here in this row we could put a four is right there. So that becomes the four and that becomes the one. That probably would have helped me. Now the only place in here we can put a one is right there. One plus what equals eight? That becomes a seven. I can take the seven out of there. I can therefore take three out of there. I can take five out of this as well. This is a six. This is a nine. This is a seven. I didn't get there in a smooth way, but I got there. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I need a six and a nine in here. It is resolved by the nine and the six, or the six and the nine turns that into a nine, six. This is a three and a five. Uh, this column, I've now got a six, so that's a five and that's a six, which makes that a three and that a five. Uh, one, two, I need three, four, five, three and six down the bottom here, which is not resolved. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to put a seven down here, which makes that a nine, makes that a seven. Uh, that's not a nine. That is not a seven. In fact, that's a six because of the two sevens. That's a nine. That's a seven. These three digits are known to be five, eight, and nine. That can't be a five. That can't be a nine. In fact, a nine has to go at the top, so I can make that a five, eight pair. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a three, six, eight. I can't put a six there. I can't put a six there, so this becomes the six. There is no six down here. So that becomes three eight, which does not look to be resolved. Um, and we're starting to hit a problem where there's all of these weird things. I mean, I can put the candidates in here. I mean, one has to go into here. Two has to go into this box somewhere. It has to go there. Three has to go into almost anywhere in this box, really. Uh, four could go down here. Five needs to go into this box, and it could go almost anywhere. Six, seven, and I need to put eight into this box, and it could go... Well, actually, I can't put three out because I've got the three eight pair, so I can take three out, and eight can't go in there. So I'm left with this. But there's no 42 in row one. There's no 42 in row one, no, row two, because, you know, this is either 48 or 4 nothing. 41, 48, 48, 49, 48, 46, 45 or 48. So I need to put 42 somewhere in the grid. What do you know? I found my answer. My answer is right there. Thank you, deep thought. So once we've got four and two, we can put an eight in the grid. We can put a four in the grid. We've got a three. We've got an eight. We've got a five. We've got a three. We've got a one. We've got a five. The five looks over, making that eight, making that five. The six looks back, making that three and that six. The three makes that eight and that three. And the one looks back, making that two and that one. And that completes the answer. We found it in the end. So I made that one to celebrate the 42nd video on my channel. Um, as I said, thank you for sticking with me. I hope you found that one a nice little fun diversion. It was not meant to be a huge challenge. I just thought it would be a fun puzzle to set. Um, if you look closely into the grid, the qu ultimate question is also hidden in the grid. I'll leave you for that one to uh, leave it for you to find that one on your own. Um, thank you for watching and. Um, I hope you continue to join me as I continue up to some other meaningful number, though I'm sure there'll be nothing quite as meaningful as the answer to life, the universe, and everything. I'll see you again soon.